Before your honest, sonsy face. Great chieftain of the pudding race. Upon them all you attack your place, pinch, tripe, or fair. Will are you worthy of a grace as langs my air? The groaning trencher, there you fill. Your herd is like a distant hill. Your spin would help to mend the mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. His knife! His knife! <laughs> His knife! See rustic labour decked and cut ye up with a ready slit. Trench in your gushing entrails bricked like on a ditch. And then, oh, what a glorious sight! Warm, reeking. Rich. Then, horn for horn, they stretch and strive, deal tack the hindmost on the drive, till all your real swelled kites belive them, bent like drums. Then all Hidman may like to arrive. <coughs> Biffank it hums. There that hour is French ragout, or oleo that would store stew, a fricassee that would make her spew, we perfect scunner, look down. With sneering, scornful view, on sick of dinner. Poor Dale, see him o'er his trash, <laughs> as feckless as a withered rash, his spindle shank, a deep whiplash, his knee, a nicked, through bloody flood or failed to dash. Oh, how unfit! But mark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread. Clapping his wally neva blade, and he'll mack it whistle, and legs, and arms, and heat he'll sned like taps of thistle. Ye powers that mark mankind your care, and dish them out their bill of fare. Oh, Scotland wants a skinking wear that jokes and luggies. But if ye wish her grateful prayer, ye her a haggis. <laughs> <laughs>